Alright, ready. Ready. Magic for Souls. Soul Beast. Spirit Unleashed. Hey, it works. That worked really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was first introduced to Power Rangers as a, as a concept when I was a kid, you know, when it first came, when Mighty Morphin came out, early 90s, you know, prime time slot, post, uh, post school, racing home, catch those uh, 3 30, 4 o'clock um, um, episodes, and, and was blown away, amazed by this show that changed the world. Uh, and became a huge fan and, and was running around the playground the next day either pretending to be the Black Ranger or the Blue Ranger, and then you fast forward, what, 12 or so years, and you're in a different room after having read a brief for Power Rangers. You know, when I got the brief, I was like, oh, they still make this show, you know? Um, and, and they did, and it, it was amazing. Like, that whole process was, like, long, and, and it wasn't arduous, but it was long, and it was, uh, you want to do the best job that you possibly can. Uh, and then to get the phone call not too long after and to be told, hey, come to New Zealand and be a Power Ranger, it's quite surreal. Yeah, it's great. That's awesome. Yeah, kind of sim similar for me. I didn't know they were still making Power Rangers. I'd watched it as a kid a little bit. Not, not um, I wasn't like hooked on it as a kid, but it was there. But um, and, and then I got this email, you know, it said Power Rangers and I'm like, this can't be the same Power Rangers that I watched and then as I looked into it I was like, oh it is, this is amazing. I was like, this is going to be a great chance for like, you know, to do martial arts in, in, a, in a show and I was in Canberra at the time, which is three hours south uh, of Sydney and I was doing a play there and, and I, I actually like drove all the way down three hours to do the audition and then back up for the show that night. Um, and. And I, yeah, I, I remember like having to do like karate in the audition and like that was part of the audition. Like um, doing, I did like a cutter, like from what, like from one of my, um, my, one of my belts cutters. And then, um, yeah, and then like getting the roles, like this is crazy. And it was my first lead in, in, in something. And like I was kind of a year out of drama school. And, and so like it was, it was a really big deal. Yeah, for me. Yeah, not just to, yeah, not just to have my lead, but to, to have been like such a massive series and then I realized how big it was and then since and coming here and seeing like the whole world of it like I'm like whoa and I wish I almost knew about all this like when I was doing it because it would have made it even more special yeah. so it can be a little bit difficult uh, you know sort of keeping up to date with where am I in my emotional arc of my character? Uh, yeah, and like pitching your arc because yeah. you want to need to know kind of almost where the climax is. Yeah. So you can know like how to, like, where am I pitching this episode because you're not quite sure of like how far they're going to push it or where you're going to get to. Yeah. Whereas with the film, you can look at the whole thing and be like, that's the top, this is the bottom, yeah. I've got to grow this yeah. far so you can join that dot. Yeah, but on a TV hours, series, hours, yeah. you're like, and then it's like, oh, that's that was the peak, and you're like, I could have pushed that more, or I could have made that bigger. So that is some, sometimes a difficult thing with the TV series. Yeah. Do you guys, you guys don't know where your characters are going to develop by the end of the season? Oh my gosh! Right? No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, a bit of a mystery. Yeah. Yeah, but, especially yeah. the way um, you know television is shot here in Australia, mm. um, serial television, things like that. No, you don't often get that. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that it sometimes can be a little bit different overseas, but. Yeah, here. I mean, that's that's the. I guess that's the, the mystery and the fun of it yeah. as well. Yeah, but it would be nice sometimes. Sometimes you got to speak to the producers and go, kind of, like, where is this heading? You yeah, know, just so I know where to pitch stuff. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, even they don't know sometimes. Yeah. The true. writers are still writing and they're still working out mm -hmm. because they're still learning also from the actors mm. where they want to take it because yeah. the actors start to kind of influence the script in many ways mm -hmm. and good writers will do that yeah they'll they'll build it and then go okay this is where they're at let's do this yeah yeah and i think that's a good show can do that yeah, yeah were you guys happy where your characters went in your yeah i personally was yeah, yeah you yeah, yeah yeah so they did a good job the writers on that were yeah. great jackie and stuff yeah, yeah. amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. 
Have they met Power Rangers have met Transformers before, haven't they? Are they part of like the same I think, uh, world of universe? Books, yeah, maybe. Because I, I, I think it'd be interesting to watch oh, the Megazords the Megazords. fighting the Transformers. Yeah. Oh, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I mean, surely that's been... Has that been thought of or done before? How is it not like Transformers versus Megazords? Like, you know, Superman versus Batman? Yeah, yeah totally. Why is it... Yeah. If Marvel and this thing or whoever makes those films... There's your multi-billion dollar idea. <laughs> Thanks, you can send the check. Yeah, Hasbro. Hasbro and whoever makes Transformers. Who makes Transformers? It's a Hasbro thing, yeah. Oh, so... Yeah. Um, hello, Hasbro. <laughs> send us the check, seriously. What colour hasn't mine. been chosen? That's... Oh, you, what do you mean? It, uh, apart it's, from our colour? Or? Uh, if you went green, what colour would you... Uh, oh, like yellow. Yellow's my favourite colour. So I'd have to say yellow. I do love yellow. And I did love Chip in, in our... Um, he was funny and... Yeah, he was a good character, so... I'd probably go yellow. You? I, I choose the colour that hasn't been done. I don't what? know, you know, I'd just what do it like a Samuel L. Jackson, Mace Window purple lightsaber type move. Yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah. not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not up to that. What colour hasn't so, been done? Do you, you know? Pearl Ranger. No, well, there's been a white ranger many yeah. times. Opaque ranger. Oh. See through. Like <laughs> like, like one of those suits that, or oh, like those mirror suits. You know those ones, and they reflect and it looks see through. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be invisible ranger. That'd be pretty funny. Well, as a then, green and blue ranger, we could be keyed out, chroma keyed out. There you go. Like blue screen, yeah. green screen. And they can make us any color they want. <laughs> Just saying. Watch out. Just saying. Yeah, we're at a major I might go back to YouTube and, and key, key myself into a different color. <laughs> I should act. <laughs> See what they say about that. <laughs> Watch out. Be careful. And then, it, but all the trees will turn the same colour as well. It's true. Because I don't know how to like just keep myself. <laughs> I'm sure someone has had that. Sorry, I, I get off topic. I've been Jungle Fury to work with this guy. No, don't do that. Don't. Do no. That. Why? I mean, like, no. Why? I, we, I love jungles. You do love jungles, I, legit. Legit, I love okay. jungles. Okay. I love. I sort of love deserts, but I love jungles because oasis is in deserts. Yeah. I've always had this thing ever since, since I watched like cartoons where they, you know, they would find oasis, yep. but they would be a mirage. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. But I love, I love that. But and pizza, mate. Of course, pizza. Yeah. Two of my favorite things. Yeah, jungle jungles and pizza. pizza. Yeah, pizza shop. Okay. Yeah, I can Done. see how that can attract a lot of, you know, rangers from other seasons. Did you have like, did, how did you morph into your? into your ranger for you to go from what you're wearing here in the poster yeah into your ranger suit how did you morph was you it, want me to do my morph no 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 I is don't that want you to do it no, is that, you, was, there a, no, was there a device that you used? we did we had a phone thing oh okay phone. is that what you had no no we had solar morphers we had sunglasses no yeah alright sorry we're, we're geeking out now we're just I want to be jungle I want, to be, I want sunnies yeah okay. we had this like flip phone because I'm, I'm thinking about heading over to Mystic Forks do it man yeah magical well magical Yeah. it was cool It'd be, like it's very unique. It was unique. You know, it's like magic. Do you like oh, magic? I do like. Do you magic. like capes? Yeah. Did you fly? Do you like spells? Did you fly? Yeah, we flew. Oh. We flew on broomsticks and dragons. No, you didn't fly on broomsticks. We flew on broomsticks. No, did we? Did we? Did we fly on broomsticks, <laughs> Angie? Did we fly on broomsticks? Yeah, we did. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm there. Mystic Force is the answer. A lot of green screen and um, wire work, actually. Oh, okay. For those of us who couldn't actually fly. Well, yeah. yeah. I flew. I flew. Did you? At, at one stage, I had the spirit of the bat. That's I bad. wasn't flying on a broomstick. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, wire work is fun. But if you had more wire work, I'd get it. Yeah, it was force. fun. It was good. Okay. And explosions. Being an actor, performer, love telling stories uh, in whatever medium that, that comes in. So I do a lot of stage work. I've been doing a lot of uh, musical theatre over the past few years. Um, shows like Aladdin and uh, Frozen. Um, the next uh, the next play I'm going to the next show I'm going to be in is a play for Queensland Theatre um, called Viet Gone, uh, which is another musical. 
um, ironically. Uh, so just keeping busy with that. And then earlier this year, I shot a show for uh, Disney Plus called The Artful Dodger, which um, hopefully will come out at some point. Um, if, uh, if our good friends um, can find a resolution to the uh, writers and actors front. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fingers crossed for that. That's awesome, mate. Mm. I'm going to catch him in something. <laughs> I'm going to... I'll be on the lookout for you for when you come back to Sydney and, and do, do something there. I'm going to come. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, big time. Um, so I've actually got my whole um, resume here. Uh, <laughs> Very close Saying, in case you didn't know all the shows I've been in. <laughs> um, that's, no, I'm just going to cover that. Now, what am I doing now? I, I haven't... Oh, God, I haven't done an acting gig in a little while. I've been trying and I've been auditioning, but I haven't... Um, no one's booked me. That's okay. Um... <laughs> No, I've been keeping myself busy um, writing music and and um, gigging. So my uh, late my project at the moment is I'm um, recording a few more songs and I'm going to get them pressed on um, vinyl. And I'm going to try and have it out at the end of the year because I've always wanted a record and and I needed something to sort of like um, to kind of get me into the studio and motivate me to kind of finish you know some some of these songs that I've had been holding on to for a while so I thought okay I'll, I'll work it out I'll, I'll try and get these on a, a record that I can somehow maybe you know maybe sell at the end of the year before Christmas if if I get my stuff together and um, <coughs> actually get it finished so I'm, I'm working on that at the moment yeah yeah amazing so Excellent. yeah so hopefully you'll see it out yeah eight songs four per yes. side yeah is there anywhere now that people can sort of find? Oh yeah, so I do have music on Spotify at the moment under Richie Branco. There are four songs out. There will be this at the end of the year, and then there should be an album next year. I've got about maybe four albums worth of uh, songs that I've written, and that all kind of fit together in um, their own world, you know, and and um, and, a, and a couple of EPs as well. So I've got the stuff there. It's just really. Uh, Recording it, yeah, and uh, getting my voice to the point where I'm happy with how I'm singing it. So yeah, that's, awesome. that's been my thing. I know what I'm listening to on the way to the airport. Yeah, much appreciated. Yeah.